Greetings Summoner! In this clip we are going to tell you about one very underappreciated item, Storm Razor. This item was introduced in patch 8.11 and was buffed twice since then, but it is still not nearly as popular as it deserves to be. Initially, this item was meant to be bought on marksmen, but it isn't really limited to them. So let's take a look at the strong sides of this item, and which champions can make use of those strong points effectively. First of all, this item is extremely cost effective as it is, even if you don't include the effectiveness of its unique passive. This is very important for carries in the current meta, where most of the critical chance items have their cost effectiveness at about 75-90%. to so the critical chance items are not cost effective at all, and are only effective when built together. Storm Razor, on the other hand, is effective all by itself. Secondly, Storm Razor gives marksmen all the attributes they need – attack speed and damage. Thirdly, this item is built with the use of the BF Sword, which is the item most marksmen prefer to buy on their first trip to base, and a couple of daggers, which provide attack speed. Attack speed is very important right now, since the zeal was nerfed so much recently. Aside from the basic stats, this item also has a very useful passive, Storm's Edge. If you aren't using your auto attacks for several seconds, your next auto attack will get a guaranteed crit. A lot of people get discouraged by a relatively high cooldown of this effect. It's 3 seconds. However, it gets lowered by the bonus attack speed attribute the champion has. So the higher your attack speed, the less you need to wait for this item to cool down. For example, level 7 Caitlyn with only this item built on her will only have to wait 1.87 seconds, which isn't that much. Storm Razor is a good item for critical chance marksmen. It lets them trade well during the lane phase and increases their mobility in late game teamfights. So let's see which marksmen can get the most use out of this item as their first item build. Our first tier includes Caitlyn, Jinx, Tristana, Jin, Zaya, and Twitch, and also Sivir more or less. Sivir doesn't fall in line with the rest of the gang so much because of how low her auto attack range is, making the use of this item a bit more difficult for her than it is for the others. But still, all these champions are the ones which use the critical chance based builds, and use fleet footwork or press the attack as their keystones. They build rapid fire cannon, static shiv or runan's hurricane and then they build the Infinity Edge. This will be our second tier of Moxman, and they should build the Storm Razor as either their second or third item. They don't use it as a starting booster item, and use it as a burst damage source instead. Static Shiv used to be the item to go in that case, but Storm Razor is much better at that now. Draven would love to have this item after he buys a Bloodthirster, if he manages to claim a couple of kills early on. Misfortune and Vayne should buy this item as their third. Misfortune gets it after she completes Yomuz and Drek'thar, and she should only buy it if she is playing against a team with no tanks. If she is facing tanks, it is better to get the Black Cleaver instead. Vayne also buys Storm Razor as her third item, but in cases where her early game is going well and she needs to build up the momentum. Storm Razor gives her all the burst damage she needs to take the squishy targets out in a couple of auto attacks. Storm Razor is also good for jungling assassins, and it should also be bought as their third item. It is picked for the same reasons as before, increasing the burst damage output. Rengar, Graves, Nocturne and Shaco can enjoy having Storm Razor in their pockets right after they finish their jungler items and dusk blades. And Kindred should buy it after the jungler item and the Runan's Hurricane. There are two champions left in our list. Those are Gangplank and Quinn, top lane champions. Queen buys it as her third item, just like Miss Fortune, right after her Yomus and Drek'thar. Gangplank, on the other hand, can buy it as his second item, right after he finishes his Trinity Force. As it usually goes, Gangplank should only buy it if he's got the initiative and needs to assure his domination. As you can see, many heroes can use this item for many different purposes. But overall, Storm Razor is a good item for boosting the early game up for the critical chance based marksman. Alright, guys, that's it. Don't shy away from trying something new and try to change your item builds around to suit different game situations. As always guys, thank you so much for watching and good luck in your solo queue.